January is the perfect time to start simplifying your life and try to live more minimally. That is why on my channel this month, I'm doing a short series where I'm sharing with you every single week how you can start living more simply in 2021. By the end of this video, you will learn 21 different things that you can declutter right now, today, to start simplifying your life. To learn more about minimalism and simple living, make sure you are subscribed down below. Tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video every single Tuesday. If you missed the first video that I posted last week, I will link it up here and down below where I shared 21 different ways to simplify your life. The first thing to declutter are dead batteries. So I feel like we all have this junk drawer where we keep all of our batteries and then they're all mixed up with ones that are brand new and ones that are old and dead. And for some reason we just have them sitting there and we just never touch them, never look at them. We think they work, we think that they might not work. So take the time and go through your batteries and see which ones are dead and expired and go ahead and get rid of those. Of course you want to dispose of your dead batteries appropriately so check out your local Best Buy or somewhere where they collect e-waste and take your dead batteries there. Kitchen utensils. So go through your kitchen utensils and see if you have maybe some that you do not use anymore. Maybe you have a brand new spatula that you got for Christmas and you have your older one sitting in your drawer and you are using your new one more than the other one. So maybe go ahead and get rid of the older spatula. Go through some of your knives and see if there's any ones that are dull and that are no longer working as well as they used to. And maybe you have newer ones that you use more because they are better than the old ones. I feel with kitchen utensils, they can easily pile up, so make sure you go through all of them and see if there's any ones that are no longer working or just not to your standards anymore and go ahead and get rid of those. Next, declutter your worn out socks and underwear. A lot of the times we forget to declutter these because we wear them all the time and we just put them on and sometimes don't pay attention to the detail of these things. So go through your worn out socks and underwear. Check to see if any of them have any holes, any stains, if they are thinned out and go ahead and declutter those. Next are some expired medication. Go through your medicine cabinet and take a look at all the medication in there. You might be surprised to find that there is some expired medication, especially now that we are in 2021. You want to make sure that you have working medication in there and that it's not expired because they can easily get lost in there and you totally forget about them. A lot of the times we don't check the expiration dates on our medication. So right now, take the time to pull out your medication and look at the expiration dates and then get rid of the ones that are expired. Declutter old magazines and catalogs. Be honest with yourself. When was the last time that you actually looked through this magazine? because chances are you maybe looked at it just once or twice and you never opened it up again. My issue with magazines is that they come once a month if you have a subscription to one of them and you might not even have a chance or time for looking at the first magazine that came and then next thing you know, the other issue for the following month is already here and you never even got to read the first one. So. The problem with magazine subscriptions is that they can really pile up quickly so consider decluttering any old magazines and also while you're at it check out your magazine subscription and see if you maybe could cancel it so you could stop getting that clutter into your house every single month. Magazines and catalogs can get piled up really quickly if you're just not doing anything with them and you're just letting them sit there taking up space. Old cables and chargers. So for some reason, I feel like this is similar to dead batteries. We hang on to these old cables and chargers because at one point we were using it for something and now we probably don't even know what the cable or charger even belonged to. I've had that problem so many times where I find a cable and I'm like, what did this even belong to? I don't even remember what this was for. Chargers and cables can also pile up very quickly. So if you find something that you're like, I don't even know what this is for, chances are you probably don't need it because you haven't used it for quite some time. 
old nail polish so if you have some nail polish check to see if it's not dried out a lot of times we have nail polish and they go unused for a certain period of time and we forget about it and don't use it and then after a while it starts to get dried out and then you can't even open the bottle up anymore a lot of the times i've had that happen where it's just so dry and so old that it doesn't even open up anymore or sometimes i'll see nail polish that is discolored so obviously that's no longer good anymore go through your nail polish collection and see if there's anything that is in no longer good condition next declutter your sunscreen so i feel like sunscreen is one of those products that can be easily forgotten about that they just end up in the back of the cabinet sitting there and you just completely forget about it or just goes unused for a long period of time now this totally depends on where you live i'm in california i could use sunscreen every single day <laughs> but maybe if you're in a place where you don't use sunscreen often make sure you go through your sunscreen and see if it's expired as well because if it's just sitting back there unused and you're not going to use it until the summer comes by then it might not be in good condition anymore stationary is also another one that can get cluttered up really easily check out your pens highlighters post-it notes staples paper clips envelopes all those things and just take notice of when the last time it was that you actually use these items for me at one point I used to study go to school and college and I just found the other day a bunch of highlighters that I used to use at one point but I'm not studying right now or in school so I don't really need those anymore so I finally let all of those go. Declutter any old CDs and DVDs. A lot of the times we hang on to old CDs and DVDs because maybe there's some memory attached to them or they were your favorite artist at some point or your favorite movie at some point but when was the last time you actually used a CD player? When was the last time you actually played a DVD in your DVD player? You have to be realistic and ask yourself questions as you're decluttering because sometimes you just need to ask those questions and then you'll realize that you actually don't need this anymore because you haven't even used it in a long time. Declutter any old documents. So paper clutter is a whole other story. Comment down below if you guys would like to see me do a video talking about how to deal with paper clutter because I definitely have tips on how to reduce that in your home. But go through your paperwork, some old documents, and see if there's anything that maybe you held on to at some point because it was important and you needed it for a specific situation, but maybe now in this year of 2021, you no longer need it. Declutter any old alcohol. So if you are a drinker and you have some alcohol and maybe you like to collect alcohol or maybe you just don't drink alcohol as much as you used to but you're still hanging on to some bottles, maybe if they're still in good condition and not expired, you can gift them to someone who is actually going to drink it if you are not going to drink it. Or maybe you're not much of a drinker and someone gifted you some alcohol for this past Christmas that we just had and you're not planning on drinking it so maybe you can actually re-gift that and give it to someone else who's actually going to drink it. Declutter any old glasses. So take some inventory of your glasses in your kitchen and see if there's any that you realize that you haven't used in the past six months or longer. Try to decide if it's something that you are going to plan to use this year or maybe you are not going to use it at all and consider decluttering those. I feel like glasses can get really piled up really quickly because a lot of the times people like to drink different things out of the glasses but it's not necessary to have 10 different types of styles of glasses to drink all these drinks. So make sure to go through your glasses and see if there's any that you can get rid of that you don't use anymore. Declutter some old travel samples. So a lot of us probably haven't traveled very much within the past year, but maybe check out your luggage or your toiletry bag and see if there's anything in there from the past that you've held on to some travel samples from when you went traveling. 
a lot of the times when we travel and stay in hotels or things like that you can get those little mini travel shampoos and conditioners and lotions and we hang on to them and just put them in our luggage bag and they kind of just stay in there and don't go anywhere so see if you can declutter any old travel samples or maybe use them up if they're still in good condition declutter any tupperware with no matching lid tupperware and lids they can get mixed up they can get lost they're like socks you just somehow magically one day have a missing lid you have a missing sock they just disappear see if you have any tupperware that are missing a lid or maybe you have a lid and it has no tupperware so either way it doesn't really matter but see if there's anything that's missing and maybe go ahead and declutter those because they're kind of pointless if they don't have the lid or you have the lid and you don't have the tupperware <laughs> declutter any equipment for hobbies that you no longer do so maybe a few of us decided to try out some new hobbies during quarantine and tried it out for a few weeks a few months and haven't touched it since of course if it's a hobby that you still enjoy doing and are still using then keep it but if it's something that you tried out for a few weeks and was no longer interested then go ahead and declutter those Declutter any knickknacks you have lying around. I know a lot of people like to collect knickknacks because they are seen as collectibles or maybe they got them from some trip that they went to someday and they hold a special memory. But other times we might just have actual knickknacks that serve no purpose or that are taking up too much space. So if you have any of those that lie under that category, then go ahead and declutter those. Check out your linen closet and declutter any old linens. When was the last time that you used all of your linens or maybe you haven't used most of them in a really long time? Go through your linens, pick out your favorites, and sort them out between the ones that you want to keep and the ones that you want to get rid of. If your linens are still in good condition, consider donating them or taking it to some nonprofit organization who can make good use out of them. Declutter any duplicate items. So duplicates are very easy to accumulate because sometimes we will buy things because we think that we don't have one or we need it when it turns out we already had one at home and then you end up just having two of them or more of them and then you just kind of like, oh well maybe I'll use it one day and then that one day never comes. That is a huge problem with duplicates and oftentimes we always just gravitate to the one that is our favorite whether it's the old one that works better or the newer one that works better depending on the item and your situation so if you're going to just stick to one thing and use that one and completely neglect the other one then maybe consider decluttering the other one declutter any hats or beanies I know we're in the middle of winter right now, but I think right now is a perfect time to just take note of which hats and beanies you're actually using during this time. If you see that you're only wearing one beanie and you have five other ones that you haven't worn this whole time, maybe try to use them and see if you still like them, and if you don't, then consider decluttering them. Scarves are also another great one to consider right now in the middle of winter. Maybe you haven't used them at all, maybe you've only used one of them, and maybe you just have one favorite and don't really care for the other ones. Consider decluttering those as well. Start to be more mindful of the things that you're actually using during this time period. So those are the 21 different things that you can declutter today right now after you watch this video. Also, if you want to join my community, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll leave it linked down below. On my Instagram, I share more about minimalism, simple living. I also love hearing from you guys over there as well. Be sure to check out last week's video on 21 ways to simplify your life right up here. Also, comment down below and let me know the very first thing you're going to declutter right after watching this video. I would love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!